Michael Angel O's. Okay. I get it, but <laughs> Michael Angelos. Mike Angelos. Is this Is this the motel? I never really came over here to sleep. That's a gift shop. Who are you? Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest bald hotel in the whole world. Okay. Like a room, please. All right, we have an available room for you. That'll be just 20 caps. Um... Do I have any barter options? Okay, 20 caps sound good. Go all the way down to the vault's main hub. Your room's in the hallway to the left. Enjoy your stay. Do you come with the room? I take that as a no. Okay. I uh, thank you. Hey, at least I feel like I'm safe. Um. I guess this is right. I don't know if this is right. Am I doing bad stuff? <laughs> Some of these things I've not done before. Oh, hello. This looks homey. The end of the hall to the left. End of the hall to the left. Nope, that's not a door. Left? <laughs> uh, am I doing this wrong? I paid 20 caps. Can I have an escort? I don't know if this is my bed or not. Quite frankly, don't care. Jesus, there's actual water in this thing. Yeah, could you imagine living in a place like this for over 20 years? Be kind of crazy. Alright, so let's sleep for... At least get nine hours of sleep. That should be good. You gotta make sure you get your rest. Then we go out and look for some food. Go to Cottonwood Cove. It's gonna take us like forever to get to Cottonwood Cove, I swear. Right, let's get out of this place. It's kind of confusing, to be honest with you. I wonder where their big giant vault door was. Oh, I bet this was it. But they think they just redone it. Kind of reminded me from Fallout 3. I might do one of those playthroughs one day. We'll see. I remember Fallout 3 is a fun game. Really great, great, great game. It really was. Oh, it says stand back. Oh. The bed was a little lumpy, by the way. You need to go pick up the mess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go find some food. I'm hungry. Um, what kind of place has crappy food? Wait, Michelangelo's. That almost sounds like SpaghettiOs. What does that say? Sign shop? Well, nonetheless, we'll see if there's any food over here. Who's you? Traveler? Yeah, you ain't got crap. It's a workshop. Interesting. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Authorized personnel only. I'm authorized personnel, aren't I? Excuse me. Miss? Excuse me. Excuse me, but I'm busy. Uh right. Well, twenty one dude. Apparently it's just a workshop. There's no food in here. Yeah, you're real darn busy, aren't you? They, might need, they can close the door themselves. I know it's a safety hazard. They can close themselves. Being rude to me. I'll be rude to you. That's just the way we do it when we run around in the wastes. 
Yeah, we run around like this in our underwear. You. Yeah. That's a radio station. Involving cocktail lounge. We won't go quiet. The Legion can count on that. Don't care, NCR guy. Don't really care. I know the um casinos have food, but I don't really want to go in and go like, oh, all my guns are gone. Oh. You're over encumbered. You cannot run. Yes. I am aware of this. Alright, let's see. What can I do? I seriously have no food. I'll tell you what, a good thing to have is the um, survivalist perk or survivalist whatever. Um, mainly because uh, it allows you to, we'll pick that up in a little bit, um, because it allows you to go cook stuff and pick stuff you pick up, so it's pretty cool. Let's just go over to Crimson Caravan Company, where we should have bought food in the first place, so we're starting off where we left off, or something of the sort. But anyways, it's an adventure, and you're supposed to be here with me, every step of the way. <coughs> Ooh, all my mishaps, all my troubles, wrongdoings, you get to make fun of them and or criticize them. Hey there. Maybe. We'll Can see. do. Alright, let's see. What do you got for me, Mr. Blake? Yeah, Blake. That's it. Yeah, right there. Durr, Bentley. Aid. Seriously has no food. What a D bag. Nancy, yeah, you too. Any food here? I'm a hungry person and I am willing to steal food. Alright, well then let's head over to I'd say Good Springs, but I think I'm gonna try a little bit different place for now. Let's head over to Novak. We haven't been to Novak in a while. I could have got a home in Novak. Uh, think about it. Actually, I think they're going to be giving me a home in Novak. Hey, random guy that always seems to be here now. I'm sick with minor dehydration. I am starving. And I just got oversleep, so. Right. How you doing? I don't know if you know, but since Jeannie May passed, I've been keeping an eye on her properties for her. I think it's time we gave everything back to you, so take this key and make yourself at home at our motel. It'll open the room on the second floor, closest to the lobby. Hope it suits you. Why, well, it's very generous of you, Cliff Briscoe. Now you will... I... I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, that's just. We'll just. We, we, we won't. We won't kill you. How's that sound? We just won't kill you. But I'd like to see what you got for sale. Sure thing. Any food? Kind of hungry. Food? Doctor's bag. Nice. I'll take that. Uh. Seriously, people. What is up with the no food? Hey, whatever. Bye. Come. No freaking food in this whole darn wasteland. What do I have to go do? Go kill my own gecko steak? Jeez Louise. Alright. Hey, um. Hey there. Need anything? Yeah, I was just wondering if you had any food. Sure. Here's what I got. Are you lying to me? You lying? Oh! He was right! Here's a Brahmin steak, purified water, and a stem pack. There you go, my friend. You deserve every, every bit. The only person that's ever had food. Brahmin steak, yes. Drink some dirty water. Wash it down with some purified water. 
You're still hungry, though. <laughs> Apparently, a steak does not cure a man's hunger. Not this man. Not Bentley. Oh, sir. There's some kind of massacre at one of the ranger stations. I don't know which one. Massacre at a ranger station sounds interesting. Hey, um, Doc Lady. What can I do for you? Any food? Um. Yeah, and I need. Whatever. Food. Food. Doctor's bag. Nice. You have no food. Okay. I need more food. This is going to turn out to be a quest to find food in the uh, wasteland, apparently. Alright. To Good Springs. To Good Springs. No. Let's go to Prim. To Prim. We're going to stock up on food that way we don't have to worry about food anymore. The fast traveling, the sleeping, and all that stuff is what's killing us. Literally. Killing us. Did I ever get these guys out of here, or are they still hiding in here? <laughs> Sorry, pick up. Happens. Sometimes. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing here? This is our casino, punk. Right. Um. You calling me a punk? Lady, that's uh, that's my line. Huh. You've got moxie, buddy, but we don't take kindly to tourists on our turf. One hundred caps should cover this trip into our territory. Really? Your turf? I guess the news hasn't reached you yet. Prim has law again. Fuck, we lose again. We heard Prim was ripe for the picking, so figured we could come here and shake down some of the suckers. We weren't expecting a sheriff here. We're just trying to put as many miles from NCR as we can. We don't want to be anywhere near New Vegas when the Legion crosses the river. You, under you do understand that there are NCR troops, like, not even 50 yards from here, correct? Like, they got a little troop here? Okay, well. Um. So that's it. You resorted to robbing and raiding to solve your problems, though? Our luck has gone south since we lost all of our money gambling in Vegas. We didn't go AWOL from duty to become raiders. But we've seen what the Legion does to people that survive their battles. We wanted to be gone before the fighting starts. And we heard there may be some safety up in New Canaan. Ah, uh, well... I think your luck just ran Looks out. Like we got a one A booyah, baby. And that's how we do things in New Vegas. And I'm hungry. You got any food? Any food? Kind of hungry. Please, Benton. I'll take your caps. Oh, no, I don't want your stupid gun. What do you got on you, lady? Bottle caps, carton of cigarettes. Yeah, you, you would smoke. You had that deep, manly voice on you. No food. Who's this guy? Beagle? No one's taking care of you yet, Beagle! Are you okay, Beagle? You okay? Huh? You alright? No? Oh, I'm sorry. Um... Take my shotgun, your submachine gun. Yeah, and, uh, so... This guy lost pretty much every extremity of his body except his left arm. This guy lost his head and his supposedly his left arm. She lost her leg and probably got a major concussion. And this guy, this guy, I don't think he lost enough. Shake it off of him. Alright, we'll just fix that. We'll fix that right up. There we go. Alright, so he lost an arm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, 